Dandelion here. Welcome back to my story series. Remember last time, Joseph's family settled in Egypt and began a happy life together. But all good things must come to an end. Today's episode is called The Last Promise. Many years passed, and Jacob grew old. He felt his time on earth was nearing its end. He called for his beloved son, Joseph. Joseph, my son, come closer. Yes, father, is everything all right? Joseph, my time is coming to an end, Joseph. But before I go, I have a wish. Anything, father, tell me what you need. Jacob desired to be buried in the land of Canaan, his homeland, where his ancestors rested. He wanted Joseph to promise to fulfill this wish. Joseph, promise me that you won't bury me here in Egypt. Take me back to Canaan, to the cave where my father Isaac lies. Of course, father, I promise. Joseph, filled with love and respect, readily agreed to his father's request. It's important to listen to our loved ones, especially when they're older. Even if we don't always understand, respecting their wishes shows how much we care. As Jacob's health declined, Joseph brought his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, to see their grandfather. Jacob, the weak, blessed them both, placing his hands on their heads. May God bless you, my grandsons, just as he blessed Abraham and Isaac. But then, something unexpected happened. Jacob crossed his arms, placing his right hand on the younger Ephraim's head, even though Manasseh was the elder son. Father, Manasseh is the elder brother. Shouldn't his blessing come first? I know, Joseph. But God has revealed his plan. Ephraim will become a great nation, even greater than his brother Manasseh. Even on his deathbed, Jacob acted with wisdom and faith, following God's guidance. Jacob also blessed all of his sons. Soon after, Jacob breathed his last. A wave of grief washed over the family. Joseph heartbroken but determined to keep his promise, prepared a grand funeral procession for his father. Saying goodbye to someone we love is never easy, but remembering the happy times and the love they shared can help us through the sadness. The procession traveled all the way back to Canaan, where Jacob was buried alongside his ancestors fulfilling his last wish. After the burial, Joseph's brothers feared he might now seek revenge for their past actions. But Joseph reassured them of his love and forgiveness. Don't be afraid. I will continue to care for you all, just as I promised. After all, God used your actions for good, saving our entire family during the famine. Joseph and his family continued to live happily in Egypt, blessed by God's grace and their newfound unity. Dear God, thank you for reminding us that even when life throws challenges our way, your love and plan for us never fades. Help us to cherish our families and show them love every day. Amen. And that's the end of our adventure for today. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you want more stories from the Bible. See you soon. Bye-bye.